It's been almost three years since the last stuff pack came out for The Sims 4, and I was fully under the impression that stuff packs were just dead. I mean, we weren't gonna ever get one again, at least until two days ago when they teased a new stuff pack called The Sims 4 Home Chef Hustle. So there's a lot to unpack here because I really truly believe that stuff packs were just gone and they had kind of been replaced by kits. I don't know if that was a fully intentional choice, but it seemed like maybe stuff packs got pushed aside because of the pandemic and then got replaced by kits, which were a little bit easier to make and outsource. A lot of game companies really struggled in the early pandemic with adjusting to working from home. So I kind of just assumed that Paranormal was one of the last packs that they had started working on pre-pandemic and then it got delayed and eventually came out in January 2021 and then we just never picked stuff packs back up again. So it's really interesting and really exciting to me to see this stuff pack come out because I would way rather we get more stuff packs than kits. They have made some good kits recently. The problem is just that I think stuff packs are a way better value for your money. A kit will be $5 and you might get some build items, but a stuff pack will be $10 and you'll get build items, create a sim stuff, and some gameplay items. The quality of that gameplay may vary. A lot of the earlier stuff packs are pretty bad and honestly I, I can't recommend buying them. But the last stuff pack, the most recent one, the paranormal stuff pack, was the best one they ever made. We got a new active ghost hunter career, we got a new lot type, there's some really nice furniture and clothing, and then we just never got a stuff pack again after that. So I have really high hopes for this pack today, and I am so curious to see what it's gonna be like. There's actually a trailer dropping in about 15 minutes, so obviously we're gonna sit here and react to it together. I should warn you that there is currently two kittens running around this room somewhere. I'm not really sure if they're gonna help or or hinder the video. I guess we will see. This is actually the kitten's first appearance on my YouTube channel, at least live, because I've had like footage of them. But my other cat is getting dental surgery right now, literally right now as I am filming this, so the kittens have free reign of the house because there's currently no grouchy old ladies home that I have to worry about slow introductions with. Hello Shrimpy, is this your big introduction to the camera? I'm sorry. They haven't really mastered the art of getting on my desk, but they have mastered the art of climbing on my bookshelves, so just be warned. I thought it might be fun to make some little predictions just based on what we've seen so far before the trailer comes out. So first of all, we've got these little pizza earrings in this screenshot. She's wearing a whisk necklace. They also showed whisk earrings in a live stream a couple days ago. The title of this currently says sugar, flour, eggs, and what's that? Smells like simoleons. See what's cooking on Thursday, September 4th at 8 a.m. Pacific time. Oh my god, this person says hi at Lil Simsy. How do you know? <laughs> How do you know? Anyway, in this Behind the Sims video, they have all all kinds of little cooking decor and baking stuff going on. Mercy here was like mixing up some flour and stuff it looked like. See, look, she cracks an egg, she's like baking something, whisking something. I don't know if we can make any assumptions based off of this because it's not actual Sims content, like it's just pure chaos, but she does start making a waffle. Granted, not very well, no offense. And they go on to show some actual Sims footage about waffle makers. This was the first teaser of the pack name inside of the waffle. It says Home Chef Hustle. They started showing off some concept art of kitchen pieces, so I'm guessing that we're gonna get some sort of new kitchen set. I'm really intrigued by these open corner shelves that they've shown off a couple of times. I like the idea of that, and I love the idea of more kitchen clutter, which I can only assume this pack will be coming with. Here's a picture that looks like an actual in-game screenshot. Doesn't it look like this dishwasher is skinnier than normal ones? They were talking a lot about European influence because the team who made this is based in Europe. So like, smaller appliances? seems like kind of a fun touch in that way. I'm not sure if that's actually gonna happen, but I'm intrigued. We can also see some of the new countertop textures, this like terrazzo tile. Again, this is concept, so it might not be the real thing, but it is interesting. Also, I'm seeing the tile. We've got this cute little drying rack. I love this recipe book and this little stack of plates. I think this is a spice rack. Coffee mug, knife block. I don't know. I'm just kind of looking around for anything I can find. Here's a concept of that waffle maker that we talked about, and they did confirm that waffles are coming. We've got a couple different variants of the new recipes because there's, I assume, gonna be a lot of new food recipes here. Look at this though, okay? They talked about an overhaul of the base game cooking menu, but do you see how it lets you select between prepped ingredients and fresh ingredients? And vegetable dumplings require prepped veggies. What are prepped 
veggies. So it sounds like that might be some sort of new gameplay feature to have to be prepping stuff. This recipe requires dough. Obviously we don't have that right now, so that'll be new. It's kind of just a question of like what parts of this are base game and what parts are from the pack. I'm really, really interested to find out. They did say they're freeing the cupcakes in a base game update, so they're gonna make it so you can bake cupcakes with just the oven instead of the cupcake machine. So I guess we're getting a pretty decent sized base game update to cooking, but I don't know exactly what else. But then it ends with this footage of what looks like the sim from the screen shot selling food at some sort of like stand. Maybe she's like a home cook who's selling the stuff that she makes. And what's cool is I'm seeing some bread, but also some pizzas. So at the very least, we can make pizzas new and we can make waffles new. They said small appliances plural, like appliances, not just appliance. So I'm hoping to get more than just the waffle maker, but that's kind of all we know so far. Now we just wait <laughs> because the trailer is dropping any minute. You probably can't tell because the cats are all black, but that is a cat. <laughs> if you see some moving back there, there's two back behind me. Lil Simsy isn't even here. She's at the vet with her cats. <laughs> I'm actually waiting to get a call from the vet to go pick my cat up at the moment, <laughs> but I will be back. Lil Simsy always skips chat from a true fan. Yeah, I'm gonna full screen the chat any second. This one is Sunny and she got herself all dusty by walking behind my bookshelf. Should I try and force her to watch the trailer with me? Baby's first Sims pack? Oh, it's her first Sims pack. Oh, Sunny, that's gonna be so fun. She doesn't care. <laughs> she already left. Okay, well, the trailer is beginning any second. The premiere is starting shortly. At this point, we just wait for it to jump scare me with the countdown. Oh my God, she screams when she can't find her brother. So if you hear a cat screaming, it's because she doesn't see shrimp. Oh my God. God. Oh my God. Okay. <laughs> it's a different kind of countdown this time. It's like a Willow Creek. Interesting. <sighs> okay. I'm ready. Oh, who are you? I was going to say, I just know people are going to be talking about these cars. <laughs> I don't think it means anything. That's just Willow Creek. It just does that. But you, you just know they're going to talk about it. Where are we going? What are we doing? This is weird. I don't like change. I don't appreciate change. <laughs> it makes me feel strange. Ooh, there's Sims making out in the background. We're on the phone. This is just like the environment though, right? Like I shouldn't be thinking about or getting excited about this. Oh my God, she's like running around in circles. Where did he come from? Oh, they're both in here. Oh, they have some of the new outfits on. Interesting, interesting. Okay, so we're walking up to the food stand before the trailer starts, it looks like. So we can see it all set up over here off to the side. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Okay, here we go. It's happening. Ooh. Soup out. Haberi sorry, Shaksa. sorry. Oh. Okay. Lady Home chef hustle. Oh, the new stuff. Oh my God. I'm so excited about new furniture. Don't worry, we will be coming back and I will be- Oh, is that a pizza oven? It's a stand mixer, it's a stand mixer! Oh my god! Oh, it's good. Oh, stop! Oh my god, <laughs> there's cats everywhere! I'm gonna need to go back and pause this so I can watch it back slowly. Oh, this is so cool. We're buying pizza? Here's the waffles. No, I am so excited about that mixer. I wasn't expecting that. Oh, don't throw an eyes. <sighs> okay. That look. Oh my god. Oh, sorry about the noise. <laughs> I like how they're matching. This is so cool. She's making the pizza. She's throwing the dough. Oh my god. I wonder what, like, the stand gameplay is like, oh, this is cool. I bet you can set your prices. I wonder if you can like properly get rich off this because you know Stanley Humphrey is gonna try. <laughs> Break in new appliances, serve up new looks, launch a side hustle. Was that a kid helping? Get busy. 
Available 28th of September. That's two weeks away. Oh, that's fun. I wasn't sure what to expect about the release date. I didn't know if it was gonna be like next week, next month, like it, I don't know. <laughs> okay, my children are wrestling off to the side. So again, if you hear any noises, sorry. I'm gonna read this article now so we can go through all the new stuff and then I'll go back and watch the trailer again. It says, upgrade your kitchen with the Sims 4 Home Chef Hustle Stuff Pack. Live your cooking dreams and become a masterful home chef. All right, screenshot. What do we got? Okay, new hair, amazing new swatches. This hair is new. It looks like that one in the back is new. I'm seeing multiple new apron swatches. As far as the kitchen goes, obviously there's some new clutter. So we have like the cookbook. This is a new knife set, pizza oven. We have more pictures of the kitchen set so we can look at all these things. There's a new range hood finally, obviously a new stove. Oh my God, hold on. They're playing with the curtains. I moved all the other curtains in my house and like took them off the walls, but I didn't take them down in here because they're not in here that often, but um, today they are. Anyway, sorry. <laughs> we have the waffle maker, the stand mixer and the pizza oven. So I'm guessing it's three new appliances. This is like a cool new shelf that's hanging from the ceiling, it looks like. I'm kind of nervous that there isn't any furniture aside from the kitchen set, the kitchen decor, and like the functional kitchen appliance stuff. I don't think it's gonna have like tables. I I'm not seeing any bar stools anywhere. I don't think I saw any in the trailer. It seems very like kitchen focused, which is okay with me. But like, see here, even in this screenshot, it's only kitchen stuff. All right, all right, sorry. <laughs> if you want to be a top tier home chef, you need the right tools and workspace. In the Sims 4 Home Chef Hustle Stuff Pack, players can renovate their Sims' perfect home kitchen and upgrade to sleek designs inspired by European kitchen designs. Oh, I bet Dan is so excited right now. <laughs> From amateur chefs who are looking to make their mark in the kitchen to food entrepreneurs who are ready to turn cooking into cash, any Sim can live out their cooking dreams. I'm sorry. Food entrepreneurs. Food entrepreneurs. <laughs> if I could think of one person that I would describe as a food entrepreneur, it would be my weenie Sim who exclusively does rags to riches. That is really funny. I know that it's just, they're just describing your sims being able to make money with it, but like, I'm gonna start using that for him. Food entrepreneur is a, is a nicer way of putting it than just my weenie sim. <laughs> okay, get ready for the stuff pack that will earn your sims a lot of dough. Small appliances can deliver big results in the kitchen with a brand new stand mixer. Something to note about these blog posts, anytime it's like a new feature, they'll capitalize it. So you see how stand mixer, capital S, capital M, stand mixer is one of the features. Sims can eat edible cookie dough straight from the prepped ingredients jar. We also have the waffle maker, capital M, capital W, and the countertop pizza oven. There's new recipes inspired by traditional Italian flavors. Your Sims will become pizza pros chopping toppings and tossing dough before sliding an unfinished pizza into the oven. We also have new focaccia bread recipes to experiment with. Okay, so in the Sims 3, there was like this pizza oven Sims 3 store set. They are both under my chair. <laughs> I need to be careful not to move it. Anyway, the Sims 3 had this pizza oven store set and there were so many recipes on it. Your Sims could bake so much with it and I thought it was like the coolest thing in the world. So I'm really excited about the thought of something similar coming to the Sims 4 because I, I loved that thing. This part's about base game updates. They're adding filters so you can find the meals you're looking for easier and they're also adding the free the cupcakes update to the base game so you can cook cupcakes in your own oven. In this screenshot we've got some more Sims working at the stall and this family is wearing pizza outfits. <laughs> they have like matching pizza costumes. That is so cute. So there is new stuff for all ages, it looks like. We have a new hat. This is like a new bandana hairstyle. Sell your culinary creations to your neighbors. Fancy yourself an entrepreneur? Yes, <laughs> I do. <laughs> Sims can become food stand owners and set up shop in different lots, bonding with their customers and witnessing the outcomes of selling their culinary creations. You hear that, Stanley? This is your time. <laughs> oh, we can also customize the name of the Anywhere, Any Fair food stand. <laughs> Again, capital letters, feature, and choose the types of foods they want to serve. Oh. The waffle maker and countertop pizza oven street food style recipes and portable features make them the perfect companions for the food stand. And cooking in style. The ultimate cooking adventure simply wouldn't be complete without the right cooking attire. With kitchen ready hairstyles, matching food themed accessories, and aprons for the whole family, we plan to have your Sims looking like serious home chefs. Okay, I'm really excited about this. I literally made an entire video, like a whole kit video back in the day, like maybe a year and a half ago, about the kind of gameplay kits I would like to see. So like if they were to make another gameplay kit, kind of like the Bust the Dust one, what would it be like? And that entire concept was small appliances. I had a whole slide about blenders. <laughs> I actually didn't think about waffle makers or stand mixers or pizza ovens at all. I was really into the idea of blenders and toasters specifically. But this is funny because I, I like really wanted something like this. I've been wanting more small kitchen appliances, more kitchen set stuff for a long
long time. I'm just gonna watch this back while I talk because I'm kind of excited about it. So <laughs> I'm curious to see what all it comes with. I need to like pause to stare at all the new things every so often. Look at this chicken shirt. That's amazing. He unfortunately is not amazed. He looks kind of sick eating that food. I guess some of it's pretty bad. <laughs> That's like poor quality nasty. You've been sitting at my feet for so long. Do you want to see the Sims trailer? You can help me look at it. We can talk about it together. Look, it's a hot dog. Okay, no, you don't want to eat hot dogs, do you? Hot dogs are friends, not food. Something that I saw some people in my Twitch chat talking about being sort of upset by with this pack is like, oh, well, isn't this the same as cool kitchen stuff? And to be honest, I literally hadn't even like considered that. That's not even a thought that crossed my mind, <laughs> which I guess, I mean, I can see why people would say that. I was so blinded by my excitement about kitchen things that I didn't really even think about it like that. So we can try and do some comparisons in a minute of those two things. But one of the most glaring differences to me is that cool kitchen stuff sucks <laughs> and this one looks like it comes with three times the amount of things. For example, the whole gameplay of cool kitchen stuff was ice cream maker and the whole gameplay of this is pizza oven, waffle maker, stand mixer, and a table to sell all those things on. So it, maybe it's even like four times the size of cool kitchen stuff. I bet it's got four times the amount of recipes. It also looks like it's just got more stuff in general, like a more complete kitchen set, more decor options, probably better decor options. So Cool Kitchen is sort of, it, it has fallen victim to being one of the first stuff packs for The Sims 4. Like I mentioned, the early ones, kind of bad. This has completely different stuff than Cool Kitchen. It's just better. And I don't think that just because we already have one kitchen themed pack doesn't mean that they can't make more kitchen themed packs. Kitchen is a very broad subject. We can't just cover that in one pack anyway. So if they wanted to make five more kitchen packs, I wouldn't be mad. I like kitchen stuff. It's good. So in this picture, I'm intrigued by this thing because I don't know what that is. I don't know if it's clutter or if it's like a gameplay thing. Is that like part of the prep work of something that we've made or is it a build item? I'm not 100% sure on that. You can see some more stuff over here that looks like food. So is that, is that clutter? It's like a bowl of berries. There's a jar of jam maybe and some cream, berries and cream. <laughs> also this item, is that like cheese? I don't know. <laughs> I'm intrigued. I don't know. Also, this is like a little bowl back here. I'm not sure about. I'm guessing this is slotted on top of the bowls. It looks like it's a stack of four and then you can stack them together and they slot together and then you can put more things on top of them. Oh, appliances. Okay, stand mixer. She's beautiful. This is an exciting addition. Pizza oven, also a very exciting addition. I think the waffle maker isn't as amazing to me today just because we already knew about it. Like we guessed pizza, but they already told us waffle. So I already spent my waffle excitement on Tuesday. I'm really intrigued by the open shelving on this side of the kitchen island. It looks like there's actual slots in there so you can put stuff in the edges. Super impressed by that. Oftentimes they'll do the islands backwards where there's cabinets on this side of the island and then it's just flat on the other side and that does happen like I have cabinets on the other half of my island like on this side but I also have cabinets on like you know the front of the island where you actually stand over here and cook <laughs> which they often do backwards so this looks a lot better I like the shelves really love this tile too I think that's super cute I'm so excited I wonder if the kids can help them with the stand mixer because you can do like group cooking oh there's even a slot here that's a base game item oh I wonder if the pizza ovens catch on fire a lot that's that seems like the kind of thing that would. You know how like the laundry stuff can catch on fire pretty frequently? I'm hoping for fire on the pizza. <laughs> look, 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 wait, I didn't even notice. There's slots on the stand. It looks like the stand is kind of U-shaped. And so we have counter slots for the pizza oven and the stand mixer right here. So you could probably stand here and keep cooking extra pizza and then just keep selling it. Oh my God, the cat is in my desk. Stop, sorry, sorry, little one. You got yourself all dusty. I need to like dust everything, don't I? You can't go in there. She was crawling in my bag basket with my Nintendo Switch. <laughs> That's mine, not yours. Okay, okay. We're eating the pizza. It looks like they're not a fan of the pizza. In general, I don't I don't think that this new main sim is the best cook because <laughs> people seem to be pretty often unimpressed. Okay, we can see some more of the waffle variants here. I'm seeing the chicken and waffles. I can't really tell what these ones in the back are, but there's at least three more variants. That one looks like berries and cream to me. I'm not 100% sure what these are because they're so far away. It's a fake plant. Don't worry. <laughs> she can't get into it. I'm actually really excited about the new hairs. We can see this little bun with the bandana and it's like tied in a bow in the back. There's a matching bandana on a shorter hair. Oh, look at it from 
the front. That's actually really cute. I love how they've been doing more matching stuff for all ages recently. Oh, she's wearing gloves while she's cooking. I didn't even notice that when I watched it first. This is the thing. You gotta watch this stuff more than once because there's so many like little things in the background that I want to pause and look at, like this knife rack. I love these corner shelves and I keep noticing this. I think that the lights are attached to the cabinets and shelves, but there's like under cabinet and under shelf lighting on a lot of these things. That's fancy. I've tried to fake that by putting up like LED light type of stuff, but you can see there's lighting in these cabinets here. So we don't have to fake it anymore because we actually have it now. <laughs> we have real stuff. Okay, I'm going back for a second because one of the other concerns that I had, just based off of the screenshots that we had seen and like the concept art, I still haven't seen it. But my worry right now is that I really want there to be an actual corner piece cabinet instead of just corner shelves. I want to have a cabinet and shelves and I haven't seen a cabinet. Maybe I'm missing it. We have like the outer corner cabinet, but I want the inner corner cabinet so I can use the shelves and the cabinet. And I really hope, really, really hope that there are flat shelves and corner shelves <laughs> because I want to use them in more than just the corner. So I have hopes that we've got a couple variants of it. Here's some of the food options. We can see more of the waffle selections here. This one looks like it's got little banana slices on it. We have some of the pizza options. I'm wondering with this, because there's probably going to be more pizza recipes, if there'll be new pizza flavors that you can buy from like calling the phone and ordering delivery. I'm actually betting now. I wonder if this is the prepped ingredients for pizza. What does prepped ingredients mean in a Sims concept? Like what, how do you store it? What does it look like? It looks like it could just be clutter though. So I don't really know. Oh, maybe these are prepped ingredients. Just the little jars of toppings. I wonder how the ordering works. Is that pizza blue? Look, it's blue. I wonder what that's supposed to be. <laughs> that's so cool. I wonder if like they just buy what you have sitting out or if there's orders and then you, you like meet their orders. Okay, this must be clutter then. Oh, it's a scale. Oh my God. I couldn't tell from the screen shots it's a scale like a kitchen scale from the screenshots I thought it was like a bowl sitting on top of a cutting board because it was far away that makes more sense I wonder if the sink is attached to the counter or if it's a sink item because I don't think I like it when they make the sinks properly attached to the counter, but I'm not really sure. Here's some more of the clothing. I like this one and how it has little flower stains on the apron. I think I'll probably use that most. I wonder if a bunch of them have swatches that are kind of dirty because this one looks a little bit like that too. This is a t-shirt with like fake apron details. The kid has a matching apron. I like this sim with like the towel over the shoulder. I think those are also new earrings. I know it's hard to tell because of my face, but it looks like they might be new studs. Okay, I think I feel good about this. I'm really excited about these things. I think I'm gonna like it. I just know I love to have my Sims cook. It's probably my most used skill because obviously everybody does it. Kitchens are like my favorite thing to build because again, everybody's house has one. And I've literally made entire videos about wanting more small appliances. So this is kind of right up my alley. I'm opening my game now because I want to look at some of the other stuff packs and compare size and like content amounts in them. And while this loads, I have a cat update for you. My cat Snap is getting teeth removed today, but the baby's mom, Frankie, the stray that I found in the sewer with them, she got spayed today also and I just got a call that she's out of her surgery and doing well. They want to keep her for a couple hours for monitoring after anesthesia but she's doing good. I'm sorry babies you're never gonna have a sibling again. That's okay. It's for the best. No more sewer cats. <laughs> Please get your cats spayed. Oh I didn't mention this in this video. I didn't explain. I found a bunch of kittens and their mom in a sewer a couple months ago <laughs> and I have kept them. I have two of them and my family kept mom and the other babies so they, we kind of have a whole family of kittens in our family now. The mom is a kitten herself so it's been a whole thing but anyway everyone's safe and healthy and good so packs <laughs> I want to talk about stuff packs I feel like looking at previous stuff packs kind of gives us a good idea of how much content to expect out of this so for example the paranormal stuff pack was the last one it's got 32 cast items that includes like all the hair and accessories across all ages I would probably guess that we'd get something similar size wise and build modes got 39 items across all of it and here's the thing about kitchen build modes it might be easier to compare it to like the cool kitchen stuff pack. Ooh. <laughs> but so cool kitchen, honestly, it's got some cute things. Okay. We have a counter set. There's a fridge and a stove and a sink. We've got a lovely vent hood. There's a couple cute clutter items. I love this little cookbook set, but it doesn't look like it's got that many things. It only has 23, right? That's honestly kind of similar to the size of the build kits, how they only have 23 items. The problem with kitchen sets is that they're a lot bigger than they seem. In build mode, it looks like it's just one item, right? But in 
reality, it's actually all of these different variants. So it's not one item, it's actually five items. It just doesn't really feel that way to us when we see it in build mode. The island counters are even more pieces. There's actually seven different variants of the island counters. There's also seven different variants of the upper cabinets. So when they make a full kitchen set, it's actually 19 pieces, even though it looks like just three in build mode to us. So it seems like it's just one item, but it's, it's actually a whole bunch. And I think that's why they kind of skimp on kitchen sets a little bit sometimes. So for example, Island Living never got a matching upper cabinet. It only has the counters and then a couple upper shelves that have similar swatches, but not even the same ones. And actually when the pack first came out, it didn't even have an island. It was just the cabinet. They had to go back and update it. Realm of Magic, same thing. We didn't ever get a matching upper cabinet for these. I hate when they do that. It really, really bugs me. So it looks like this pack is gonna have a full kitchen set. But what I mean to say by this is that I don't think it's gonna have a lot of other build stuff aside from the kitchen set, the appliances and some clutter. There isn't like tables or chairs or anything like that because there's a whole bunch of counters. I am a person that will appreciate any kitchen set we get as long as it is a full kitchen set. When it's like a half done kitchen set, it just makes me feel sad. So I'm really excited about the thought of a new kitchen cabinet set. Really intrigued by it being more European inspired. I think we don't have a lot of stuff like that. This whole game is very American. So I like the concept. Really obsessed with the small appliances. Cannot wait to see the recipes and stuff that comes with them. I do have a couple questions. Number one, can we sell any food item on those stalls? I know it's like optimized for pizza and stuff, but can you sell anything? I'm really curious to know more about how that works. Also worried about the shelves. I hope it's not just a corner. I hope we have the corner and a regular shelf. I love the idea of a corner shelf. I just don't want only a corner shelf. And I also wanna know so bad how much money you can make from this. Like how much do you sell a piece of pizza for? Is it worth my time? Is this a lucrative investment for my sim? That's what I need to know. Obviously I'll make videos on that, don't worry. Okay, the cats are back. <laughs> I probably should end this video because I need to go take care of them. I know I joked before about, oh my God. Oh, he's on the desk. <gasps> oh, you're on the desk, hi. First time on the desk on our own. This actually might be a bad thing. <laughs> this opens up a lot of new room for chaos. I was gonna say that I was sort of stressed about the trailer coming out on the same day that two of my cats were having surgery, but this has actually been a very welcome distraction for me and honestly like a really positive thing because <laughs> I've been really stressed about Snap going to have her teeth removed. I know it sounds so dramatic because it's like she's just getting a couple teeth pulled, but she's just old and anytime she has anything going on, it, it really freaks me out. So it's been a rough day, <laughs> but I appreciate this coming out because I had something else to think about and talk about. The kittens have also been a bit of a blessing today because their chaos has made the house seem less quiet without Snap here. So thank you for hanging out for your first YouTube video. Well, it's your second YouTube video. They had a whole dedicated video, but this is their first time making a live appearance on camera. I will obviously make videos about the pack as soon as it comes out. I'm looking at my schedule now and I'm realizing it's been so long since stuff packs came out that I don't even know if we're gonna get like early access to this one or anything. So just so you know, packs usually come out on Thursdays and the updates usually come out on the Tuesday before. You see it with kits, you see it with expansions. The same thing is probably true here. Year. The pack is gonna come out on Thursday the 28th, so I'm guessing the base game update will be on the 26th. Again, guessing, we don't actually know. They don't even ever usually say that. They never like say out loud when that stuff is coming, they just sort of let it happen and we all notice the pattern. So stay tuned for plenty of cooking themed videos. Maybe I'll do some IRL cooking to celebrate. That's something to consider. And I think on that note, I'm gonna end this video right here. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss any future content about Sims news or exciting new Sims packs. And I am going to catch you all tomorrow. Okay, bye everybody. I'm sorry if you can hear all these cat noises. There's just like running and jumping happening constantly. I don't know if it's a welcome distraction or if it's like really annoying. So I apologize.